Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the error code 1053. The service did not respond to the start or control request in a timely fashion. So if you're coming across this error, this tutorial will be for you. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in reg edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest that you create a backup of it. So if anything ever went wrong, you could easily restore back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Select export. For export range, make sure it's selected to all. And then for file name, name it whatever you want. But I would generally recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Makes the most amount of sense to me. And then save it to a convenient location on your computer. You can easily access it. So pretty straightforward, and if you ever needed to import it back in, you just would go ahead and select the file tab and then import. So again, very straightforward procedure there. Once you've gone ahead and done that, you want to expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. Do the same process for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. And now there should be a control folder in here, so you want to go ahead and just left click on that one time. Please note you can also find the path of this folder at the top of the screen right here, so you can see the exact location or address of it. And now over here on the right side, you want to right click inside of a blank area. Select New. And then select DWORD 32-bit value. In the new data or new value number one, whatever it might say here, you want to type in services, pipe, P-I-P-E, timeout, T-I-M-E-O-U-T. I'll have this up on the screen as well. So again, services, pipe, timeout, no spaces in here. Click outside of that to see the name of it. And if I expand the name column, you can see it clearly here as well. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and just double click on that. For value data, you want to make sure base is set to hexadecimal. And then in the value data field, delete whatever's in here. It's probably going to be a zero. Type 18, so 1, 8. And then follow that up with four zeros, so 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically 180,000. Just don't do any commas or spaces or periods at all, no other characters except for the 180000 as it appears on my screen. Once you're done with that, go ahead and select OK. Now you can close out of the registry. I would suggest restarting your computer and see if that has hopefully been able to resolve your issue. A further thing you can attempt would be to run a scan for system file corruptions, which is certainly a possibility. So what you want to do now is open up the start menu type in CMD, best match should go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now there will be a couple commands in the description of the video. So the first one is going to be the SFC command. So SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash in the beginning. You want to hit enter your computer to begin the system scan. It will take some time to run after which point you should restart your computer and hopefully I would have been able to address your problem. Another scan you can attempt would be if we, let's say we restart our computer, open the command prompt back up in the same fashion we opened it up the first time. Next command I would actually suggest actually copying it from my description, so just copy over it. So right click and copy or control C if you're a keyboard person and then go up to the top of the command prompt here, right click on it, left click on edit and then we're going to paste it in. So I just do that to more visually represent it. It's kind of hard to represent it using a keyboard shortcut. But anyway, once you have it in, you're going to hit enter. You're going to begin running this. So both of these utilities will take, I would say, on average between 10 to 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your hardware speeds. So definitely take some time. Just please be patient. And hopefully this should have been able to address your problem as well. 
But again, I would recommend following the steps as I showed from the first registry modification, then try and follow up with these scans, and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.